Sham Sun. You want to know if we're close enough to hear if Karula calls them? Yes, I think we probably are. We'd hear her going, ow, ow, ow. But only if the car was off. Right. I'm scanning the bushes for some deep white fur. Or some other spots sticking out. But I can't see anything. Down in the drainage, she could easily be sitting in a tree just above our heads. It's interesting that they're not together, I think, the two cubs. That they've chosen to be separate at the moment. And it, you know, I think it's difficult for people to understand, especially if you've had a house cat, how independent how independent leopards are and how soon that independence and need for solitude begins to manifest. So these leopards are four and a half months old and already they're starting to show signs of, inde well not independence, but certainly the need for solitude. They will play a lot together over the coming months. They're already starting to spend some lone time. Dina, you say, does she have a notch on her right ear? No, that's a normal notch. You mean underneath there, Dina? That's, that's totally normal. They all have that. She's got that notch on both her ears, and you can see it from where you are. You can see it, um, you know, the angle of her head when she changes it. You'll see it on the other ear as well. Her ears are pristine. Fantastic that they're spending a bit more time here. Let me see.